So I've been asked to make some little collections of the pine cones from here and the, the Sedona stones and the red rocks for people who want to take a little piece of Sedona home for them, with them. And I'm walking my path and talking to a client of mine who became a friend of mine. We're more friends than anything now. We've known each other four years. And uh, I'm just, I was just telling her that I've just kind of pulled in and the I'm just really sensitive right now. I know that the Virgo new moon is talking about emotions coming to the surface, but I'm recognizing something about myself. And maybe this would resonate with some of you that uh, when I left the fun play world, lighthearted, no care in the world energy, although I was never that. You know, I was a Jehovah's Witness and I was always a very devout spiritual person. Sorry, I got tears. And, uh, but when I awakened, I was in uh, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. That was happening before I left there. Look at the beautiful sunset. And uh, I went and I met my soul family. So many people that I love back there. And they all played music and were musicians or... We always had it around us anyway, and I love music so much. It's something that's always been really powerful for me. I'm Welsh, you know, we're called the singing Welsh. But then uh, Archangel Michael asked me to leave and come and follow my path. And I was to go to Sedona. And I was thrown into my work. And I mean deeply thrown into my work. I was isolated for six months. Spirit didn't want me to have to be untaught all the things that the quote-unquote spiritual people would have taught me at that time because I was such a sponge for information. And there's a lot of people that call themselves spiritual people that truly are not. Look how beautiful. I wanted you to see those, those rocks over there with the sun. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. <sighs> I'm an Arizona resident. Jeez. I miss the ocean. <laughs> anyway, um, so I remember a couple friends of mine, and actually one in particular that I was very close to for many years, used to say to me, can you turn it off now? And I would say, turn off what? And he would say, this whole spiritual thing, you know, you don't party anymore, you don't drink anymore, you're just, it's always about that. And, and I said to him at the time, can you stop breathing? because I don't just turn off who I am. This is who I am. But the thing is, I think, as is a lot of the case for people, when I left that lifestyle that I had, had I, that he was involved in, um, I went way the other way. I went into my learning and it was deep. And um, I've always been, I always love to have fun. I always play and I enjoy the animals. I'm not a depressed person. I'm, you know, generally pretty happy and I, and I love nature and I, and I love to dance and I love to sing. It's still all with me, but the people aren't because the people that I used to do all of that with aren't spiritually awakened people. And so I'm kind of like morphing, trying to find my tribe but, and I've met really nice people, but I haven't found that really, you know, where I can play and, and laugh and be goofy. And, and I want that with a spiritual partner. I, I would love a play buddy, play friend. And I don't know how to express it. I just, there's a lot of people that come to me because of my gifts and because of what I do and not understanding that I mean, I understand they're going through stuff, but not understanding that I am a super sensitive and the energy affects me very deeply. And so it's really hard for me to be around it. Um, a lot of times people, I mean, people will go to a doctor, right? Well, people come to a spiritual healer and a spiritual teacher and they bring all their trouble with them. And it's hard for me. And I, I don't think they realize that it, it builds up and so it finds me pulling away again, you know, pulling in, pulling away and getting to be a recluse again. And I don't want that. It gets, it's lonely, you know, 
So Spirit asked me today, what is it that you want? Look at those red rocks. Aren't they beautiful? Gosh, it's so beautiful here. I appreciate this so much. And I said, I want a play pal. I want to play again. I want to laugh. I want to be goofy. I want to be silly. When I went home to California, I went and I played with my girlfriend Cindy and her husband in the pool. You know, we talked about important spiritual things, but it wasn't the whole time. I mean, I don't have to be... I mean, I mean, for my other person, he just didn't know how to connect to that at all. So, my other friend, it was foreign to him. He said, I came here to play. I didn't come here to learn anything. And I, I think there's, there, there's got to be a combination of, you know, I've got friends, you know, acquaintances, I would say, um, here that have, that have partners and are married and boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever and they're they're both spiritually awakened people they play they have fun they have a good time so I'm looking for that for myself I want that for myself I want somebody who's fun and, and light-hearted and, and loves animals and loves to dance and is, is a goofball and and yet can be very deep as well and recognizes the beauty that we have here is not just accidental and how important it is that we cultivate the right environment you know, and uh, I don't know, I could, maybe I boxed myself in like I did just a second ago. Maybe I boxed myself in by, you know, maybe sending the image, you know, out or the, well, not the image, or I guess the, I don't know, the look or I don't know that, you know, she's not capable of having fun. She's not capable. I, I never saw myself that way. I'm pretty lighthearted. <laughs> But I would like people around me, not because they want a reading or not because they want to connect to something or not because they need a healing. You know, so many people come to me and pour all of their sadness on me and, and I can't handle it. I, I can't take it. I'm, I'm, I'm way too sensitive for it. And it builds up in me and it gets, I get, I, I take that feet, that, that pain on. You know, this one's dying. Would you please pray for them? This one is, is, is ill. Would you please pray for them? This one's marriage is falling apart. Would you, would you please, they keep coming to me. I'm not Jesus, you know. I'm just another person that has gifts. And I know that many of you feel the same way. You must. I can't be the only one who feels this way. And I'm not saying that, you know, I mean, I have a, I, I talk to my friends and I talk to Serenity and, and I'm sad. And then afterwards I think to myself, shit, I shouldn't be talking to her bringing her down. Oh, look at the egg. Oh my gosh, that's a quail egg. Oh my gosh. New beginning. That's so cool. Um, and then I think to myself, I should just not talk to anyone. I should just go talk to my angels. But sometimes you need human companionship. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just don't want to be completely alone. You want somebody who has been here, right? Like an ascended master, like my mom, or like Archangel Metatron, you know? They understand, they were here, but the angels don't understand. They don't know what we've gone through and what we have to deal with here living on this, in this world. They don't know. They've never experienced it. And when they bring us our gifts, they flood us with gifts and they flood us with opportunity. And the opportunity, it's a blessing, yes, but it's also very overwhelming. So I'm asking my angels, give me a break. Give me some fun, right? Let me have some fun for a while. Just lighten the energy and bring me my friends back. I miss my, I literally said to my friend uh, when I was talking to her just now, Ella, I said, I, I, I miss my old life. I miss my old life when I could just play and have fun and I didn't have to have these deep concerning thoughts about the future. I mean, we're all going through that because of what's happening in the world right now. But shit, man, we gotta be able to cut loose and, and pull away from it and not allow ourselves to be just consumed with COVID and, and this is happening and that's happening. I, but I gotta tell you, it's so overwhelming to those of us that are super sensitive. I understand it's overwhelming to everybody. But for us, it's you can't understand it. We feel that pain. We feel their pain. We feel your pain. We feel our pain. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I ask Spirit to help us all. Send us all some light, happy reasons to be joyful and 
I look for the blessings all the time. I really do. I look around and I, I love my garden. I love my animals, right? I do. This is a blessing to me for sure. But I've got a little one in there that's really, really ill too. And uh, like a lot of people, we all have stuff. We all have stuff. But some of us, it's harder. And maybe you guys don't understand. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know if I'll share this. We'll see.